tribunal, Peter Obi and Atiku actions will lead to embarrassment and disappointment. Primate Ayodele. In the early hours of today, the spiritual director of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Ayodele, spoke via video and sent a message of warning to Peter Obi and Atiku regarding their case in the tribunal. Primate Ayodele said, I still want to call Atiku and Peter Obi to order because the way they are fighting this tribunal, I am not seeing how they want it to end well. If they don't strategize, it will end in embarrassment and disappointment for the both of them. Speaking further, the man of God said, some, Pe some of Peter Obi's members in the Labour Party will still cross to the APC as will members from the PDP too. So they just need to know what to do, otherwise some of the people they trusted will disappoint them and such disappointments will cause embarrassments for their parties. Lastly, Pramit Ayodele said, APC must be watchful so that they don't have internal crises. This can cause total confusion for them. Well, what are your thoughts on this? Make sure to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe as I share what other people have to say about this. Are you a politician pastor? This prophet Ayodili is becoming confused. Every day he is coming up with divergent stories. Do pastor, you should not treat the criminal aspect of the election because you are a Yoruba pastor. Go to the prophets who called evil God, evil good. Primates, some of these your unnecessary predictions will lead to your embarrassment and disgrace one day. Everybody is seeking for influence from Tinubu. He will soon meet Tinubu in Aso Rock after making noise like Asari Dokubo. They all know that Tinubu is the chief of Abero. All the Aberos in Nigeria must use one way or the other to seek for favor from their chief. This man is a drunker, Abina Kokin. Which type of man of God is this? This man has no shame. Why kind talk up and down is this? Please stop this nonsense confusions. Stop disgracing Christians dumb. Prophecy beginning to turn to advice. We can do better. Do I need to be a prophet? No way. I can read signs and foretell future happenings. Even a child can give this prophecy. This man don't even know what he's saying. He is the one that said Tinubu regime will this, will that. Now saying another thing. Now so God they show someone revelation. Of what benefits are all these politicians guess work for him and the people he is supposed to lead? Do you only see political visions? Haba. Allow courts to allow courts and those seeking justice to do their thing. Carpet crossing is not new in Nigeria. So you are seeing normal things as visions. Let them fight their case to a logical conclusion. It is only God that knows tomorrow, not man. This isn't a prophecy of hearing from God. It's just saying common things politicians do, like decamping and likely the Nigeria judiciary, where you can't get justice if you aren't in power and with money or being the highest bidder. This is a contractor. This man is completely mad. He is talking like Asari Dokubo, so that Tinubu will notice him. He is a disgrace to Yoruba people, and I have never seen a useless fake 
prophets like him. He is obsessed with Obi. Yoruba people should be ashamed of this man. Man of God, behold Nigerians already face embarrassment. Few naira food hunger no money. We the elderly are suffering in silence. Any pastor that wants to be famous for people to know him, that person will just come out on social media to be professing nonsense. This Ayodele, please speak with your full chest and campaign for your voice. We know you belong to Tinubu, so just keep hyping him and leave others. You are just making noise. This man is not hearing from God because our God is a God of justice. Rather, he hear from his gods. I respect every right of Nigerian to have a political view, but this man is clearly not serving God. He is a confusionist. Let this man, Prophet Ayodele, be. Let no one touch him, but let him not be taken seriously. I usually fear to antagonize men of God because even though there are many fakes, you never know when you can insult a true one genuinely sent by God and thereby incur the wrath of God. But I can confidently tell this primate to be quiet. God did not tell him anything and he must stop using his position to insult God. The tribunal will not bury Atiku and Peter will be alive. The tribunal will not eat them. The tribunal is only being asked to reach a verdict based on the empirical evidence that will be presented before them, and that's all they will do. Peter Obi must not win at the tribunal, and Peter Obi must also not lose. Either way, he must accept the situation. Besides, everyone in this scenario is doing something lawful as far as the law goes. So be quiet, primates, and go and rest. I am equally man of God, and God has no reason to be showing you such things. Proverbs 22-29 Advocates diligence and hard-working in everything we do, and that's what Peter Obi and Atiku are displaying at the courts. That's not a good thing to say. As a man of God, he should tell the court not to compromise. The tribunal was set aside for this purpose, even though the government will say one thing and do another thing. Well, these people have all given their opinions on this. Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to share this video with your family and friends.